Hi, I'm Romaine Bailey. I'm Krypton Kate. I'm Magnesium Mary. And I'm Stronium Sarah. And, and we're, we're the Kimmy Cool Kids. Kids. And today we are going to provide you with lab safety entertainment. Oh, I'm a mess right now. Today, we take not another step towards annihilation, but the first step on the path to peace. We begin with a series of micro-injections into the subject's major muscle groups. The serum infusion will cause immediate cellular change. And then, to stimulate growth, the subject will be saturated with vital rays. That wasn't so bad. That was penicillin. Serum infusion, beginning in five, four, three, two, one. a shirt. Okay, so first of all, in a lab, you need proper attire. A shirt, obviously, it's kind of a given. Second of all, you need long pants and closed toe shoes, which he also does not have shoes on. I don't know why. You need to make sure you know what chemicals you're putting into your body because you're not going to end up looking like Chris Evans, like post-transformation, whatever. You also need to make sure that you're wearing protective eyewear because it's not, you're going to end up looking like this guy and you can't pull off an eye patch. I hate to break it to you, but y you can't do it. If you do get something in your eye, immediately go to the eye wash station. Oh my god! Ah! You can set yourself on fire! He sold his own liver on the black market for a new set of speakers. He's our guy. You guys, there's so many things wrong with this right now. First off, your hair, as long as long sleeves, should always be pulled back in the lab because they might fall on chemicals. And also, why is it lighting a cigarette with a Bunsen burner? You guys know that the chemicals in that one cigarette are more harmful than anything else in this lab. And also, why is it playing with the flames? It's obviously not safe for the lab. You should always use caution with heat and never put hot glassware in cold water. Check yourself or you wreck yourself cause I'm bad for your health. Miss Hamburger, if I remember correctly, you told us a story once about a mishap with a glass stirring rod. Yes. What exactly happened? I was trying to get, someone had taken a graduate cylinder and had stuffed a paper towel inside of it to dry it. So I thought it was a good idea to try to use a stirring rod to kind of get the paper towel, stuck paper towel out. Well, while I was doing that, I wasn't really paying attention, and I was trying to help some other students while another lab was going on. And I applied too much force, and before I knew it, it broke in half, and then one of the ends went right into my finger. What do you think you should have done instead of trying to force paper towels out with a glass stirring rod? I should have used something like um, tweezers or forceps. I should definitely have not used something breakable and applied force to it. Do you have any tips for handling glassware in the lab? Just be very careful paying always attention to where the glassware is, how much force you're applying to the glassware. Um, if it's on a hot plate, don't touch it. Cool glass looks the same as cold glass, or cool glass looks the same as hot glass. And just know that if it does break, don't try to pick it up, it is very sharp. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. And don't be like these two. <laughs> Not even they can stop me now Will I be flying overhead? The heavy words can't bring me down Will I been Oh my gosh, what is he thinking? Doesn't he know that you should never touch
such chemicals until instructed to do so by your teacher. Also, never mix chemicals. You don't know what you're doing. If the chemicals are supposed to be mixed, your teacher will instruct you. Also, horseplay is never tolerated in the lab. It can danger you and those around you. you must follow the laboratory cleaning procedure. This includes disposing of chemicals down the sink or wherever your instructor tells you to put them, rinsing materials with water such as flasks, graduated cylinders, or beakers, putting aprons or goggles or any other laboratory clothing back where they belong, turning off materials such as Bunsen burners and or balances, and wiping down and clean, cleaning your area at which you performed your experiment. <laughs> Experimenting in the lab. And don't forget, lab safety is Kimmy Cool. <laughs> <laughs>